Hey guys, hello. Right, I'm just gonna um, turn my radio down. Sorry, I should have been prepared for this. One second. I'm really hot. I'm really hot. I need to turn my radio off. Time, hang on. Hello, hello. I hope everyone is well and had a good day. I don't know who's gonna be around on a Friday night, but I thought um, I would come and chat to you all. I hope you're okay. Um, let me know I'm in the right place. Hope everyone's all right. So Tanya has asked me to come in here this evening and um, talk to you guys. Oh, my hair keeps getting stuck on my lippy. Um, about uh, the power of your mindset and um, why that is so relevant to your sensi business. And this is something, um, I'm just going to wait a sec actually, just to check. Jesse, I can see that you're watching. Let me know that I'm in t -force and I'm in the right place before I, um, before I start, before I start. Because I don't want to start nattering on and then um i'm not in the right place someone let me know that i'm in the right place or like click on some love hearts hello oh hi hannah right okay that's fine <laughs> i'm in the right place hi okay right okay hello hello cool i am good to go i'm in the right place okay lovely right okay so um you'll see me over the course of the next kind of like i'm, I'm gonna try and keep it like you know i don't want to say short because i feel like i've got some stuff i want to share with you guys but I don't, you don't want to be here all night on your Friday night um, listening to me, do you? But I've, I'm going to keep looking over here because I've got some notes and I've got some books that I want to reference as well. But um, Tanya asked me to come on and talk to you guys um, about mindset because I honestly 100% believe that... Um, uh, basically, this is just like my jam. It's my thing. It's what I love. Um, like psychology, the human brain, how it works... Um, I was a dancer in my younger years and I went to college, um, but while I was studying performing arts, I also did a psychology A-level and I ju it's just always something that's like really interested me. Um, and I'm going to do a really, really short kind of little thing about my sensory journey in a minute because um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. But I honestly believe that any success that I've had um, in sensory um, or in anything has 100% come down to mindset. Um, not because I've got loads of skills, not because I'm, I had loads of experience or def so definitely any success I've had in Sensi, I believe it was 100% down to my mindset because I'm just, I'm a little bit of a, um, just go for it and see what happens kind of, <laughs> kind of girl. And you know, like having energy and having passion is, is what's going to take you far in this business. Like you can, you can learn the rest as you go. So 100%, I personally believe, and that's all we can ever do as leaders is, is just share. That's all being a leader is, it's just sharing. Um, and I honestly believe um, from my experience that your mindset is literally the core of like everything. Everything that you do in life starts with your mindset. Everything else just is just like rolls off of that. So um, I've made a few little different notes um, from lives I've done before, but before I start, I'm just going to give you a little really short overview of like my Scentsy journey, because some of you I know in here, some of you I don't, some of you might be sitting here thinking, who is this girl banging on talking to us? So um, I'm Laura Sarkins, I am Superstar Director of um, Team Glitter Sparkle, but I am, um, so obviously... I am part of like your group further up up the up the ladder somewhere as well. Um because as as we all are, we are we're all part of one big um Sensi family. But I've been with Sensi. Sorry, let me just let my dog in one second. You coming in? Alright. Come on in. Sorry, Dan's putting the baby to bed and <laughs> the dog wanted to come and get involved. Right, okay, so I've been with Sensi for I joined Cincy in April 2017. Um, I was a fitness instructor at the time. I was working three jobs. Uh, we just bought our first house. We were absolutely up to our eye. But and the thing is, I'm a totally open book and I've got nothing to hide and I never hide anything. And I'm really, really transparent with how much Cincy has literally changed. Cincy has literally changed our life 100% categorically saved up saved us like completely and utterly changed our life and i just want you all to know that if you are new and you are just starting out you are literally sitting on the seat of a rocket ship right now you literally have in your hands or wherever you are right now you have your hands on absolute solid gold if you choose to see it that way and if you choose to work it and if you choose to go all in and if you choose to soak in trainings and if you choose to put in the work hi tan um 
Yes, Sam, 100%. And that's why, the reason I'm going to just give you this brief overview of my Sensi journey is because, like I said at the beginning, I don't think I've got loads of skills. I don't think I've got loads of experience. What I do know is that working on my mindset has 100% played probably the biggest part in any success that I've had. So yeah, we, I joined Sensi in April 2017. We just bought our first house. It needed like loads of work. We were up to our eyeballs in debt. We were considering going bankrupt. Like that, is, that it was dire. I'm not going to lie. We were in a really shocking place financially. Um, I had two children at the time. I was a fitness instructor, self-employed. Dan was working full time. Um, I was working like, I was teaching six classes a week. I was waitressing in an evening. Sorry, my, my hair keeps getting stuck. I was working in an evening and I was also a midday assistant in my kids' school and obviously Dan worked full time. So we were literally like ships that pass in the night, okay? You know, and like a lot of people, there was more month at the end of, there was more month than money at the end of that month. And I'd been with another um, network marketing company. I was with another direct sales company for 18 months previous to Sensi. Um, I'd had a little bit of a, I don't want to say a bad experience because you know, everything you go through in life brings you, I think, where you're supposed to be. But I'd stepped away from that company, nothing wrong. I just, it wasn't for me. It wasn't, I didn't feel it in my gut that it was the right thing for me. So I moved away and we were literally working ourselves into the ground and only really just breaking even. Um, and I was buying Sensi um, from uh, Kelly Sylvie, who I'd met through my previous company. And she said, she'd said to me like loads of times, oh, you know, you should, you should join Sensi, you should do this. And I was like, no, no, you know, like everybody does. Um, I was like, no, it's not for me. I've tried network marketing. And she's like, but you know, you're already recommending, you know, like we all do. She'd said all the things to me. And I was like, nah, it's not for me. I've tried it. Um, so I've done all right in my other company. I'd earned like an incentive trip and stuff, but I didn't go on the trip. And I think that spoke volume. So I knew I could, I kind of loved the industry. I just hadn't found my home and I hadn't found my passion. So anyway, I had a party and joined that night. I had a couple of glasses of wine, not gonna lie. Um, and I joined that night. And so that was four years ago in April. Now I'm not sharing any of this to boast and to say to you, oh, look at me, I'm not quite, I've done. I'm sharing this to show you what is possible with this business. And I'm, I might cry tonight. I'm totally gonna hold my hands up. I'm feeling really emotional. I've actually just put up a story on my stories about how like utterly grateful I'm feeling today for like everything that Sensi has brought into our life. So bear in mind, four, nearly four years ago, up to our eyeballs in debt, just bought our first home, which needed like loads of work. Um, and in April, coming up, um, I've been with Sensi for four years. Um, Dan has retired from his job on Christmas Eve. We are now a full-time work from home family. Um, I We have moved into a brand new forever home. We obviously sold that house, moved into another one and have moved into our brand new forever home. Um, last year, I was able to tick off one a huge thing on my vision board, which was to buy um, a static caravan on a haven site in cash that we now have forever. Um, I've just ordered a brand new car. Like I'm not sharing all these things to go to you like, oh my God, look at what I've done. I'm just sharing to tell you like, if you work hard, you can literally make your dreams come true with this business. And when I say to you, like your mindset and, and being grateful for all that plays a part in it. Um, it's so utterly true. So that is where, you know, my Sensi journey has gone in four years. And I do literally sometimes stand there and, and obviously Dan being able to, to retire from his job. I've, he'd been there for 16 years and we've now had another baby. And lot, I, I'll be honest, I used to joke and think, oh God, I don't want him around all the time. He'd drive me crazy. But lockdown happened. We'd had another baby. Life was is mental, right? Like three kids, a really, really busy business. And we just kind of went, like, what are we doing? Like, we're in a position just, like, what, what are we doing? So, yeah, on Christmas Eve, he left his job of 16 years and, and we're here and we're, we're... So money doesn't bring you happiness, right? But it brings you freedom and choices and opportunity. And I 100%, 100% time, and that's it. Like, I am an open book because, and this is what I always say, okay? If other people hadn't shared what Sensi had brought to them, other people that I'm massively inspired by... If they hadn't shared and I knew what was real and what was possible, then I would never, I and we would never be experiencing all the amazing things that we are. So why would I keep that to myself? Like, that's why I share it. Okay, so that's my little sensey story, my journey. And along with all that, right? Okay, that's just all the, you know, highlight real stuff. The relationships, the friendships, what this brings, the, the confidence. And 
I don't mean confidence is in like, oh, you know, I'm talking about like the stepping out of your comfort zone. And when you start to achieve stuff, guys, I don't mean me. I mean, when teamy start to achieve stuff and then you see teams starting to do stuff and they start to step out of their comfort zone and they start to like achieve their goals. It is literally the best feeling in the world. And you cannot have success in this business if you don't help other people to have success. And it is literally the best business in the world. Okay, so that's like my little sensey story, right? Oh my God, Tan, exactly. Like, we'd never met. Like, I literally now cannot imagine my life without, like, my Sensi family in it. Like, it literally, it, uh, it, we are, uh, the kids, everything. It just run. if you cut me, I would bleed purple, right? And the friendships and the relationships that this business can bring you is just phenomenal. So, that is my little Sensi story. But I'm, anyway, on to mindset, because that's why I'm here. And I honestly believe any success that I've had has happened because of mindset. Okay, so... Some of you might be listening to this and think, oh, what's she talking about? Like, oh yeah, we've got to be positive and all that. This is what this is something that um, when I trained to be a fitness instructor, we touched on slightly. Your mind is literally, right, the core of everything that you do. But to relate it to your sensory business, you have to think about it like this, okay? Your mind is a muscle. If you want to get stronger um, with your body, with your physical fitness, you work on your physical fitness, okay? If you want to get Sorry, I've got hiccups. If you want to get a stronger mindset, you need to work on your mind. And for people that have never really like looked at personal development and looked at that um, kind of arena, you might be sitting there thinking, oh, I don't really know what she's talking about. And I didn't really in the beginning. When I started uh, in network marketing, I had read um, a personal development book. It was called, it was this one here. Um, it was called The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This book's really old. You can see like it's orange. Dan read this when he first started in his um, in his old job, and he lent it. To me. He liked it was Dan's book, so I read it. And I always remember reading this book, thinking, "Oh, it's really interesting." Like, because I was I was a girl that read like I don't know Cecilia Rahern like chick lit books, like when I went on holiday or like when I was on the train, you know, before kids, when you had time to read a book during the day. Um, yeah, and it was the first kind of book I read, and I always remember thinking, like, I did really really enjoy that. And then I got into network marketing and I would hear people talking about like, you know, you need to work on your personal development. You need to work on your mind. You need to... And oh my God, right? When I did, when I... Like I said, I did I did A-level psychology at college. So I've always been like really interested in like the human mind and how powerful it is. But oh my goodness, right? When I really tapped into that and really truly understood the power of your mind it is literally the core of everything so you need to work on it like your body like your body and for you to have in my humble opinion a truly successful business you need to look at it like a big beautiful jigsaw and it's like every single aspect of your life and when when you actually talk about it like this like i hope this makes sense but like to me it just it it's it's just clear like it just makes sense so it's like you know, you need to work on your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physio physiological health. And when all those things are like working in sync, your business will fly because like you're going to be on top form. So I'm talking about like drinking more water, exercising, right? I'm not going to sit here and talk about exercise all night because that is obviously I was a fitness instructor. I still love working out. I work out six days a week, but not because... And I'm not going to talk about that now because I did a live on my Instagram the other day, which if any of you want to go and look at it, I did talk about it on there. But fitness for me has got absolutely nothing to do with what I wear. I don't own skills. I, I can't bear weighing my, like weighing myself. I think it's such, such a toxic thing because of experiences I've had in the past. But I work out for up here because if I get up and I'm a little bit like, mm, you know, and then I do a workout or I go for a run or a ride or it literally, it like flicks a switch on in my brain and it's science that's not just me like anyone move your body like moving your body will release endorphins which will make you happier which will make you more productive which will improve your mind and your productivity and in, in turn will have a positive effect on your business so again working and looking after every single aspect of you as a person will have such a positive impact on your business even down to just drinking my water, okay? We are, um, like, we're like 80% water. So if you're not drinking water, you're dehydrated and your brain's dehydrated and your mind's dehydrated. So it's so, so, so important. Your mind is your best business. Yeah, 100%. Because 
it literally is everything else will roll on from there. Okay, so onto here. Success is 80% psychology and 20% strategy, okay? So this isn't something that I've just made up. This is from, um, if you follow Brendan Machard, he is um, a business coach for high performance achievers in life. And I followed him for a lot of years. I've read his book and it's all, that is something that Tony Robbins has, has quoted as well. So I'm pretty sure that that statistic is, is, is accurate, okay? So any success in life, okay, is 80% psychology. So 80% comes from up here and 20% is your strategy and the, the actual physical things that you do, okay? So you might have heard the quote, whether you think you can or you think you can, you're right. Oh, hang on, I'm going to get it down here because I've actually got this. I've got loads of visual things from the office to show you tonight. So Henry Ford, okay, this is the guy that um, designed the car, okay? Whether you think you can or you think you can, you're right. Just think about that for a minute, okay? If you are, if like Tanya's telling you, you know, you need to go live, you need to reach out to more people. If you're telling yourself, well, I can't do that, guess what's going to happen? You're not going to do it. Um, and I don't mean that in a, in a, I can't think of the word I'm trying to use, but it's absolutely true. Like you wouldn't, if you're, if you're a parent, right, and your children were coming to you and they tell, they were telling you like they really wanted to do something and it was, I don't know, sports day, for example. And they were, you'd be, you would be drumming into your kids. You can do this. You've got this. Like I believe in you. Why can't you do that for yourself? Okay. You need to, with every single piece of who you are, with every single fiber in your body, believe that you are going to have success, that you are going to achieve whatever you set your mind to. If you are in this business to earn a little bit of free wax, that's absolutely fine, okay? There's zero pressure. It is your business to run as you wish. However, if you want to progress, if you want to grow a team, if you want to grow an organization, if you want to hit lead, star, superstar, director, star director, superstar director, if you want to do all those things, okay, first and foremost, you need to tell yourself every flipping day that you are going to do it. Every single day, okay? Consistency is key. Tell yourself every single day, I'm going to be an SSD. I'm going to be an SSD. I'm going to be an SSD. Because I sure as hell, honestly, that is what I did every day for four years. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Four years, this was up in my kitchen. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. If you don't set goals and you don't know what you are aiming for, how are you ever going to get there? Your mind is a powerful thing. And if you fill it and there's, oh my God, I'm going to throw another statistic out when I can remember it. It's something like if you write your goals down and you put them where you can see them every single day, you are 42% more likely to achieve them because if they are in the forefront of your mind and your and, and your vision, right? Okay, the reason we make vision boards, well, let's talk about that now because as I've shown you it. Vision is, oh, again, it's like vision is a function of the heart and sight is a function of the body or something like that. But if you really, really want to achieve success, okay, you need to visualize it. You need to visualize where you want to be, what you want to be earning, who's going to be in your life, like the house you want to live in, the car you want to drive, you need to visualize all that shiz, okay? You need to visualize it and put it up somewhere that you can see it every single day. Because then when it gets hard and when stuff goes out of stock and when like things are late, because I'm, we're going to throw in some truth bombs tonight, right? You are an entrepreneur, okay? Whether you realize it or not, the day you bought that box, the day you bought this business, you became an entrepreneur, you became a business owner and running a business does not go like this, okay? It is not all smooth every day, okay? Things are going to go wrong, things are going to go out of stock, things are going to be late, all the things are going to happen. It is not going to be plain sailing every day. Do you know what's going to determine the outcome from that? Is your mindset and how you choose to deal with it, okay? If, if a cust just I'm just throwing an example out there, right? Um, because just know this, okay, being an SSD or a star director or a director, or a, everybody's in the same situation, okay? Every single person, nobody's got some magic portal through to home office or to the warehouse to get their stuff any quicker. It, like, it's not, it doesn't happen. So everyone's in the same situation. What's going to determine the success of the consultant is how that consultant chooses to deal with it. It is all a choice. Every single day you have a choice with your relationships, with how you deal with situations. So 
just for example, okay, so your customer orders something and or, I don't know, it's, it's a brand new customer, you've waited 12 days for it to come because you know, it's a bit crazy at the moment in the world and then it arrives and it's a brand new customer and the warmer smashed, okay? Not ideal, okay? Like we know that, it's, you know, it's not great. But you can kick off, rant in your team group, Rant, 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 moan, 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 wind, wind, wind. Is that going to get anybody anywhere? Absolutely not. What you can do is message your customer, be honest, be brave, because you've got to be brave as a business owner. You're going to just message them and go, look, I'm really sorry. This has happened. It's not ideal. Keep them in, like, keep them updated. It all comes down to your mindset and how you decide that you are going to deal with that situation, because I can guarantee, right, that customer won't remember what happened that customer is going to remember how you dealt with it. So the, the reason I'm giving that as an example is having a positive mindset doesn't mean that you're saying that life is all sunshine and rainbows every day because it absolutely isn't. You know, I've had people over my time telling me that I suffer from toxic positivity and that I'm burying my head in the sand and that I don't live in the real world. The world I live in is, is real and the people that know me know that it's real okay and I'm a very honest person and things are not always going to be ideal and they're not but it's how you deal with them and you always have a choice and the problem starts to arise when you know that customer's been waiting for I don't know two weeks and then it's damaged and then you just disappear and ghost them and you're worried to reach out to them so you've got to decide in your mind that you're going to be strong and you're going to be powerful and you're going to message them and you're going to own the situation and be honest and deal with it. And I can guarantee when they finally get that replacement warmer, they're going to love it and they're going to love you and they're going to come back to you because you've given them that customer service, okay? And that all starts with your mindset. Okay, all right, next thing. When I talk about believing in you, you need to believe in the business and the products, okay? So if you don't believe, how is anybody else ever going to believe? Um, you might have heard the term, your vibe attracts your tribe, right? If you don't believe in what you are talking about, then how is anybody else ever going to believe? If you are wanting to grow your business and grow a team, okay, or, or when it comes to selling the products, if people are coming to you and going, yeah, they're a little bit expensive, and you're going, yeah, well, actually, I agree with you, they are, then, you know, they're not going to, you need to believe, we have a world-class product on our hands, right? We are, we are head and shoulders above anything else. We know that Scentsy is incredible. You need to believe that and your customers and your potential teams need to see that because if you don't believe, how is anybody else going to believe? Okay, next thing, um, when it comes to having a positive mindset. Um, I've talked about that. Um, things are going to happen, but it's how you deal with it. Okay, um, I'll come to that in a minute. Okay, uh, next thing I want to talk about is do not worry about... Um, other people um and i mean that in like two different ways okay so um don't worry about the opinions of others first of all okay when you do anything in life anything that's a little bit different or, or no first of all whether it's different or not whatever you do in life okay people are going to have an opinion it is just human nature it's just the way of the world it's just the way it is okay you need to, if you want to have success in your sense of business, you have got to have a strong enough mindset to not worry about the opinions of other people. Other people do not get to determine your life. Other people do not get to decide how big your dreams can be. How many of you have thought before about posting something and thought, oh, I'm not going to post that because I'm really going to annoy people. Why? Like, this is your life. Like, just think about that for a minute. The here and now, where you are living today, this is your life. The only one that you're ever going to get. Your life, your family, your children, your dreams. Like, that's it. Nobody else gets to dictate what you do. If those people do not want to see what you are posting, they don't have to look at it. And that is honestly the way you need to think. Because with all due respect... They do them, you do you, it's your social media feed, it is your life. If you spend your life worrying about the opinions of other people, you will never do anything. Those people do not pay your bills, do not buy your kids' school shoes, do not pay for you to go on holiday, do not pay off your credit card debt. Do not let the opinions of other people 
dictate your life. That is honestly one of the biggest, biggest tips I can give you. You got right. And I'm just going to say like, this isn't, that is honestly something that I've worked on over time. And honestly and truly, I'm not getting the violins out, right? But over my journey, I've, I've honestly had it all either said to me, about me. I've had screenshots sent to me about me, how she's so annoying. She's fake. She's this, she's that. Um, when I left my first company that oh, it, it's, you know, it's, but you know what? If, if people, oh, it's a scam, it's a pyramid scheme, you never earn any money, all them things, right? But if I'd have let those people get inside my head, because it takes work, it's a skill like anything else, you have to learn. Generally, what you will find is people will portray their insecurities onto you because they're not brave enough to step out of their comfort zone and go for something that they're really, they're, they really want to do. And actually... That's what it's all about. So if other people feel the need to, you know, portray their negative opinions onto you, that has got absolutely nothing to do with you. Zero. It's all to do with them. So you cannot let the opinions of other people affect what you're doing. Okay. Other thing. When I say about don't worry, don't worry about the opinions of other, uh, don't worry about other people and having a strong mindset. Okay. Just going to talk about the elephant in the room. When you are running your sensor business, there are going to be people that do raffles. There are going to be people that sell on eBay. There are going to be people that do things that are out of compliance every single day. Exactly like they would be in any other company. Do you know what you need to do if you see something? Just stay in your lane. Stay in your lane and work on your business because by the time you've spent loads of time like messaging and sponsoring, oh my God, look at what they're doing and look at what they're doing and me, 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 me. That's not going to get you anywhere. In the time you spent doing that, you could have messaged a customer and sold a warmer. Honestly and truly, stay in your own lane. Focus on your own business and honestly, your business will flourish. If you really, really, really want to, you've seen something you don't like, send it to compliance. That's what they're there for. But do not let your energy, so your energy, right, and your time is your most precious commodity, okay? Your, what you give your energy to that's that's up to you okay um so things are going to happen that might frust that once upon a time might have frustrated you what you need to do is take a breath go do you know what i'm bigger than that i'm gonna go work my sense of business and honestly when you when you realize like the power of that it's it's phenomenal and let other people sink their own ship okay that's fine let them do what they're doing but you focus on you and also Oh, yeah, 100% time, that's just come up. So also, that you can flip that on, on the other way. You're also going to see people around you hitting promotions and having success. And uh, as human nature, it might be that, you know, the green-eyed monster comes out. And I don't, I don't mean that you might mean it in a malicious way or anything like that. But, like, you know, the green-eyed mon monster might come out and you, you, you spend your time focusing on on what all these other consultants are doing and why they're hitting that shooting star and why they're, they're hitting, hitting that sensational star and why they're hitting that promotion, okay? Don't worry about what other people are doing. Work on you and your business because everybody's journey is so unique. Honestly and truly, just be happy for people. And I don't just mean like social media happy. I mean actually, genuinely, truly be happy for people because do you know what that's doing, okay? In a minute, I'm going to talk about the law of attraction and the law of gratitude and the like phenomenal effect that will have on your life and business. When you are genuinely happy for people and genuinely, you are putting out like good vibes into the universe and by the law of attraction, that is what you are going to get back. So don't be jealous if people are promoting over you or faster than you or hitting things because if you spend all your precious energy, which is like I said, one of your most precious commodities, you're not focusing on you. And when you focus on, on your business and your team and what you're doing, it doesn't matter what other people are doing. Just be happy for people and stay in your lane because everybody's journey is so unique. And I can guarantee you some of the people that you're watching, like everyone has insecurities. Everybody does. It's like we're all human. Um, but honestly, just, just stay in your lane and believe you can do it because when, when you do start to do that, honestly, it will have such an, an incredible effect on your business. Okay, um, ba, 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 ba. right, okay, perspective, let me talk about that. Mm, 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 mm. 
so vision i'm going to talk, talk to you about um your circle of control and about making about making setting goals and stop seeing your tracks for sure concentrate yeah it does 100 percent. like because if you're spending all your time focusing on that you're not focusing on your business okay right what i want to talk to you about now is um having a strong mindset and goal setting and setting vision boards and again i'm not sharing this to go to like oh what am i what am i doing what um look what i've done but i just want to talk to you about how passionate i am about making vision boards now i wrote this vision board um when we moved out of our first house and into the house that we lived in before here so not long after i joined sensi so probably about three and a half years ago okay this vision board was written and put up in my kitchen in my old kitchen and it actually came up on my um facebook uh memories the other day when i had actually bought it and it was like i said about three and a half years ago and this was in my kitchen every single day so we could i could see it dan could see it my kids could see it okay and these were my goals and i can proudly say that we've ticked them all off and that is because of sensei and because on the days when it got hard and i was having a wobble um oh, i need to find the quote but it's something like if vision is a sight of the Vision is the sight of the heart. And if you put something up in front of you every single day, your mind then connects with it. And then that will be your drive to take you forward. Okay. So these are my things on my vision board. Um, static caravan, which we bought last year. New kitchen and loft conversion. Obviously, we ended up moving uh, back to Florida with Finley. We've just booked that. We're going back in May next year. Um, and superstar director. Okay. And these are the other things. So I set daily goals for all my kids to read as well. So find happiness in every day, work hard, be grateful, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, don't worry about unimportant issues, be present, live in the moment, never stop dreaming, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, I'm a huge Disney fan, and um, this one's really, really important, just be kind, and I know that that like, quote gets thrown around in the media all the time, but I honestly and truly believe that, I honestly and truly believe that even if you don't agree with somebody, right? Even if you have a difference of opinion with somebody, you're not always going to, like, agree. And not everyone has to be your best friend in life, okay? But you can always be kind. You can be kind to say, this isn't going anywhere. So I'm just going to remove myself from this situation and then this isn't going to go any further. I've done that before in my life. But you can always choose kindness. And when you're putting that out into the world, again, that will come back to repair you. Um, next thing I just want to touch on. You will become the products of the people that you spend the most time with. And if you want to have a positive mindset, you cannot spend your life with people that whinge, moan, whinge, moan, whinge, moan, whinge, moan, have a sense of entitlement. Oh, woe is me, the world owes me a favour. If you spend your time with, you must have heard the saying, like, be a radiator, not a drain. If you spend your time with people like that, they are just going to drain your energy and that is not going to have a positive effect on your life and your business, okay? Um, I honestly know, and I don't mean this in, a, in an unkind way, but over the last five years, there are people in my life that I have dist like, I've distanced myself from. They bring nothing to the table. And I just very politely said, I think, like, I think we're done. I think we're done here. I wish you well. Um, but and a couple of them were because they couldn't be happy for uh, what was happening in, in our life and our network marketing business. And there was always the little snidey comments and the little digs and the little like, oh, what's she doing? And the Mickey taking. And um, yeah, I just, I, I distanced myself from them. They're no, they're no longer part of my life and it doesn't matter how long you've known somebody. In my opinion, if somebody, if somebody's in my life now, I'm nearly 40 years old, okay? Life is short, right? If we've learned anything, we all need to live with Laura. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, as soon as he's flipping pandemic's over we're having a big sensi party i've already said that i can't wait to be in a room with everybody but honestly now if somebody does not bring like and i'm not right again please 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 don't don't misconstrue this i'm not saying that everyone has to be like la, 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 all the time but if somebody that is in your life is being intentionally toxic and just not not good energy like why are they there like that, and I'm not, I'm not here to be a life coach and telling you who you need to cut out your life. But just think about that. If you're not surrounding yourself with positive energy, then it is honestly going to have such a, such an effect on your life. And this just brings me on to my next point. Okay. What you let in, it is all a choice. It doesn't matter if they're a family member, if they're a friend, every single day that you get up, what you let in to your mind is a choice. 
So, I'm gonna, I had this printed off because I saw this and I liked it, so I got it printed. The circle of control, okay? So, the things that you're in control of, you're in control of the amount of effort that you put in, your words, your actions, how you treat others, whether or not you follow the rules, how I handle my feelings, your decisions, and how you take care of yourself, okay? You have absolutely zero control on what other people do, what other people say, things from the past, how other people feel, other people's choices, and the weather. That's a bit of a random one on the end. But what I mean is this, okay? Every single day, you're going to be met with things in your life, um, you know, uh, I'm... I don't want to say conflicts and stuff, but things are going to happen, okay? And you have the choice to whether you let that in, whether you let that in to your mind and you let that affect your day, okay? Or you can smile, breathe, move on and get in with your day. And honestly, if you only let in positive energy, honestly, again, it will have... Some of you, I'm sure, are probably listening to this and thinking, what is she banging on about? But, but since I have started to live by these principles, honestly, our life has changed and... Dan even says to me, it's like, you're literally not the same person that you were like five years ago. And I'm so glad because I know I was always quite like a positive person. But once I started actually intentionally working on it and how I worked on that is what I'm going to come to next. And then I'm going to talk about the magic and then I'm going to finish and let you go enjoy your Friday evening. So when I said at the beginning, I honestly believe that success in your sense of business, a huge part of it comes down to personal development. Right, just a small selection, just a small selection, and I've got more upstairs. I make a conscious effort every single week at some point to have read some kind of personal development, whether it's even just 10 minutes in the morning when I get up with my cup of coffee before the kids get up, and even if I read like half a chapter. Because when you fill your mind with, so your mind's a muscle, like we said at the beginning, when you fill your mind with developing and you know all the and, and positivity it's gonna it's gonna have a knock-on effect to everything in your life and i've read loads of books and i can share loads of them in here but there's just a few that i just want to reference that i feel have had like a hugely positive effect so the first one um is the slight edge by jeff olsen um turning simple disciplines into massive success um next to rachel hollis go wash your face and go stop apologizing absolutely brilliant um you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life now just think about this if you're filling your mind with this stuff just think about the effect that that's going to have on your day and your life and your business and your relationships and all of it because it like i said it all rolls out um and if you're not a reader okay and loads of people will say like loads of people in my team will say to me like, oh i can't read books Listen to Audible, okay? Get it on Audible, put it in your ears when you're walking the dog or washing up or sorting your washing. You can get personal development into your life in some way, shape or form. And honestly, it will it will just like skyrocket your business. Okay. And the last two that I want to talk about before I go is the secret and the magic, okay? You might have heard there's a, there's a film, there's a book, there's an Audible. So there's a really, really famous book called The Secret. And it talks about... And I first read this years ago when I was training to be um, a fitness instructor. It talks about the law of attraction and how, you know, what you get out, you get what you give out into the world, you get back. And it is so true. You will have heard the term that like, your vibe attracts your tribe. And honestly, the universe is always listening. Like, be a good person, put good out into the world, and the universe will repay you. Um but, on, but moving on from that, okay, I only recently discovered the magic and I've read loads of personal development books over time. But honestly, I read this book and it came and I thought, oh, you know, I'm going to have a bath and I'll read it for like 20 minutes. And then I got out of the bath and I read it downstairs and then I went to bed. I read this whole book in like one night. I literally could not put it down. It was speaking to my soul more than any book I've ever read, okay? And what the magic talks about is the law of gratitude, if you want to have true, and if and I've done a full training on this, because when I when I read this, I'd highlighted stuff in this book, and I then did a full training with my team and referenced stuff in this book to their sense of business, um, and I put that on my YouTube channel. So it's on my YouTube channel if you want to go watch it, and I'll share the link in here afterwards as well, because I did a whole training just on this book, because it, honestly, it just speaks to my soul, okay? And it talks about um, the law of gratitude and how... 
you if you're not grateful for what you have now loads of people will say like oh yeah i'm grateful and i probably did the same before i understood this loads of people will say like you know yeah i'm grateful but if you're not actually practicing gratitude then you're not living by the law of gratitude i say because what do i mean by this if you are not grateful for what you have now then how are you ever going to be grateful by suddenly having like more material stuff okay so things and if you sit there and think mm, i haven't got anything to be grateful for think about it like this okay you got up today you've got eyes that can see you've got breath in your body you've got legs that can walk you've got hands that can hold things you've got um you know oh you've got a roof over your head you've got food in your fridge because for some people in the world they are absolute luxuries so the next time, and I, I'm the, and I don't mean this to like anyone in particular or anything like that. I just mean the next time you are having a bit of a grumble because shipping or something's out of stock or something. Just think about this. The people in the third world countries that aren't going to eat for a week, I'm sure their sense of humor being out of stock is the only thing that they would have to worry about that day. And that is literally as deep as I go to find my perspective in life. And I fully know where it comes from. So like my mum is in a wheelchair, she can't walk, um, she's got multiple sclerosis and she's had it all my life and it, it got worse as I got older so now she is in a wheelchair full time, she also can't use her right hand um, and my dad is a full time carer, okay? And when I'm having, without realising it, having that influence in my life growing up has had such a powerful effect on me because if ever I found, found myself thinking, Oh, this, 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 I just think, oh, I can walk. Like, I can walk. It's as simple as that. And that is, that's where I go to, to find my perspective in life. So, I don't know, LTOs selling out in two minutes is not a, you know, when things are late or when things sell out, we don't sell life support machines, okay? We sell wax and warmers. There is not one thing in Sensi that's actually an emergency. It can always be resolved. Every, not Nothing is an emergency. Nothing is worth getting angry about, stressing about, shouting to your sponsor about, none of it, not one thing, okay? It's not that I don't care because Sensi is my whole life, like our whole livelihood now, Dan's lost his job, like this is it, this is, our, this is our life. But you will never ever find me whinging, moaning, grumbling about any of that stuff because it's not worth getting stressed about. And the people at home office and the people at customer services just be polite and kind because they're just doing their job as well. They have no control of what's going on. And like we said earlier, things are going to happen. And then you have the power to, in your mind, choose how you're going to deal with it. And when you start to implement these strategies into your business and go as deep as, if you're about to get angry about something or are stressed about something, just stand back and think, I've eaten today. And it, and it is as deep as that. And when you start being grateful for all the incredible things in your life, like there's a quote that I love, it's like, when you start, change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. And it is so utterly true. And once you start not getting angry and real, realise how flipping incredible this business is, like everything else will start to change because you'll be happier and you won't be getting stressed and you won't be getting angry and your customers will feed off that and your team will feed off that and it will just roll out into everything else and it's you know there's i've literally got this up in my office look i'll show you oh, oh my office isn't i've got nothing on the walls yet because we've only just moved in but look a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles i literally have that up where i can see it every single day because it is so utterly true and i'm just going to read you before i finish I'm just going to read you a paragraph from the magic. And when I read this paragraph, look, highlight, I've like highlighted this whole book. When I read it, I was just like, oh my God, like this, this is written about Sensi and it could not be more true. And this is what I wanted to finish on. Okay. So if you take any activity, any art, any discipline, any skill, take it and push it as far as it will go. Push it beyond where it has gone, ever gone before. Push into the wildest edges of edges, then you force it into the realms of magic, okay? How can it be that a person who is born into total poverty, starts out with nothing and has very little education, goes on to become one of the wealthiest people in the world? And how is it that two people can start out in the same career and yet one person's career or business, or sense of business, um, can go from success to success to even greater success, 
while the other person works him or herself into the ground with little success, no matter how hard they seem to try. The missing link to success is gratitude. Because according to the law of attraction, you have to be grateful for, for what you have now to attract more success to you. So without gratitude, it is impossible to have permanent success. To bring success or increase the good things in your job or your work or your business, like opportunities, promotions, money, brilliant ideas, inspirations and appreciation, it is essential to be grateful right now for the business or the job and the people around you that you have. The more gratitude you have, the more you will have to be grateful for. And you should be getting the idea by now that to increase anything in your life, you need to be grateful for what you already have. When you are grateful for your job or your business, you will automatically give more to it. And when you give more, you will increase the money and the success that is returned to you. When you give less, you decrease what comes back to you. And as a result, you will never, ever be happy with your work or your job. And it will stagnate and eventually it will just deteriorate and you will end up losing your job or your business. Remember, for those who have gratitude, even for what they have, it will never be taken from them. Okay? So that's, I just found that really, really powerful. So the people in customer services, the people that are trying to help you, the people, if you are so utterly grateful every single day for the business that you have in a world where businesses are closing daily, a business and a company with absolute family values and success, uh, sorry, family values and um, consultants at the heart of it. You've all listened to Heidi Norville. You all know where they're coming from. Like that's what you need to remember when it gets hard. That's what you need to remember. That's where you need to go to. You need to have a strong mindset to go, actually, I can do this. I can deal with this. I am going to choose the positive. I am going to, it's all a choice. Every single decision you make in your life is a choice. And having a positive mindset will have such a positive effect on your business. So I think I'm done. I think I'm finished. I hope it was helpful. I hope it made sense. Um, I don't know what time is because I've done it again. I was looking I was looking for my phone then to look for the time. I can't see what time it is. But um, I hope it was helpful, guys. And I genuinely, <laughs> Tan knows this, I genuinely cannot wait until, you know, the world resumes and we can all be together and have like one huge Scentsy um, celebration. So I will let you go enjoy the rest of your Friday evening. Thank you very much for having me and um, lots of love and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> speak to you soon, bye-bye.